Smosh the movie is the worst thing I've ever seen. I don't even know if I'm exaggerating, actually. I think everything about this movie is lazy, bad, annoying, terrible, infuriating, insulting, stupid, shitty, cringeworthy, not funny, immature, etc. I wouldn't feel compelled to make this review, but the fact of the matter is no one else is saying anything about this movie. Good, bad, nothing. All I found was this. Yeah, they reviewed their own movie, and it's actually much funnier than the movie itself. I would give it five out of five stars just based on their bodies alone, those yeah. two young men. I would like to drizzle honey on them. I really just feel compelled to say something because no one else has said anything. Was this movie a failure? A success? Honestly, I don't know. I can't find anything about it. Audiences didn't like it, but no critics have really seen it. And I couldn't tell you if it was a financial success or not. I don't even know what the budget is. Some people say five million, some people say a million. I don't even know. Feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyway, I felt like I should say something and delve into that part of YouTube I don't like. The popular part. See, there's tons of upcoming channels and channels with moderate success that I enjoy very much. And for the most part, I'm able to stick with those channels I like and ignore all the channels I don't like. I don't find Smosh's videos very entertaining. That's me. The internet's a big place, and if you find their videos entertaining, then more power to you. They're silly five-minute videos that younger people enjoy watching. I'm not gonna take that away from them. You know how stressful it is to be a teenager? Let them enjoy something. Leave them alone. However, now Smosh decides to make a movie. They're on my turf now. If you're gonna make a movie and eat up an hour and a half of my time, then you better be good. So no, I don't hate this movie because I'm jelly, or because I'm homo, or because I'm too picky. I like watching good movies, and when two millionaires do a half-assed job, I'm going to rip their poorly produced product to shit. Here are the- The first three minutes. The first time I tried watching this movie, I made it three minutes in, and then I shut it off. It's like everything I hate in a movie, in three minutes. It starts with a poorly animated scene of Ian and Anthony in the morning. Why is it animated? Just cause it's cute. Then there's this annoying pop song playing over the opening credits. Like, why not just have score music? It would be better. Then the cameos start. <sighs> cameos should serve some purpose to the story, like when Johnny Depp and the other guy show up in 21 Jump Street. That's actually pretty funny and clever, because we didn't see it coming. In this movie, people just show up. And this girl was wearing pants that looked like she literally pooped in them. And the Oscar goes to... Wait, how come Jenna Marbles is Jenna Marbles in this universe, but the guy from Epic Mealtime is not? So in this universe, he's a mailman and he's not like a YouTube star. But Jenna Marbles is? What's wrong with this picture? Everything. I'm just gonna assume YouTube gave them the rights to use their website in the movie. I mean, they made YouTube a lot of money, so why wouldn't they? It says YouTube right there, and it has, like, a similar look to YouTube? But why is it like that? Why'd you change the logo? Why'd you change the layout just enough to annoy me? Why'd they change the font? Was there a point to doing that? Where's the time code? Why does the subscribe button look like that? What is that gray box next to the search bar? Why didn't you just use this? Why is there a live action photograph in this animated segment? Why'd they use that font? Is this a movie? It looks like a 720p video they shot with a GoPro. Why'd you need this shot? It just takes away from the movie, makes it look cheap. What's with this cut? The shot lasted like half a second. Hey look, another cameo. I guess that's over. Do you think they thought out these cameos or they just called Ruby Sparkles like, hey, can you film something and send it to us? It can be anything, we don't care. And how come this YouTube video looks like 4K video? How come the parts that are supposed to be a movie look like shit, and the parts that aren't supposed to be a movie look good? If this video were made in real life, it would be shot with an iPhone. Just like this. How'd this guy who is high on laughing gas get this shot? This is pretty hard to do. To get a shot that good, you'd have to take out the windshield. Is this supposed to be fake? Is that the point? Why does it have an exclamation point at the end of the view count? Is that a joke? Oh my god. What?! Flagging YouTube comments doesn't work like that! Unless you post a link to a website or the same thing over and over and over again, your comment isn't automatically flagged. If your comment is flagged by someone else, a message doesn't pop up saying your comment has been flagged! I thought these guys know how YouTube worked. You know, they've been on it since it launched. Then we get treated to awkward and unfunny banter. 
Uh, glad you're here, because I need a ride. Ah, oh, I knew it! You can't keep doing this. You can't just order a pizza every time you need a ride somewhere, okay? Why not? You're already out driving around. <sighs> Plus, my mom started charging me for rides. What's the big deal? The big deal is I'm a working professional now, and you need to respect that. You deliver pizzas. I work in food distribution for a multi-million dollar company. Where you deliver pizzas. Look, I've worked very hard to turn my life around in a very short amount of time. Unlike you, I moved out of my parents' house. Into my parents' house. Hi, boys. Oh, God, is the whole movie gonna be like this? Where'd all that money go? They had a few million dollars to make this movie, right? You'd think it's show. I'm currently making a movie right now with $10,000. And I'm not saying it's better or worse, because I don't know yet, it's not done. But at least it looks like a movie with money behind it. Yo, Anthony. You're doing a hell of a job balancing such a busy and complex life. Yeah, I know. But you gotta start working your glutes, man. Looks like a loose lump of Play-Doh down there. Looks bad. Yeah, okay, I'll, uh, I'll just do some squats on my way out. Thanks. And that's the point where I shut the movie off. Number two, what's a smosh? This film is called Smosh the Movie. What's a smosh? Apparently it's just something they made up. Okay, fine. That's the name of their channel. Okay, fine. But when you have a movie named The Smosh Movie, well, what's this movie? Is it just a series of skits? Apparently in interviews they said it's gonna be like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, except with Ian and Anthony. So okay, why not call it Ian and Anthony's Excellent Adventure? Or Ian and Anthony Fight YouTube? Or Give Us Your Money? But instead it's called The Smosh Movie. I thought it was gonna be about the process of making a Smosh video. When other YouTubers make movies, they don't just call it, insert channel name here, the movie. Shane Dawson made a movie, which is just as bad, if not worse, than this one. But at least it's called Not Cool, and it was about something. They didn't call it Shane Dawson TV, the movie. That's just stupid. Number three, wasted potential. Once I actually watched the movie, I noticed some things. I saw potential. There is this scene where Ian and Anthony get stuck in a YouTube ad. It's a clever concept. YouTube ads annoy a lot of people, and even though I make a living from them, they annoy me too. So playing on this is actually quite exciting, and if done right, funny! But instead they do nothing with it. They're in an ad, and they just ask Siri to skip the ad. And then... Siri skips the ad. And that's it. And then they ask Siri to make it full screen. And then it becomes full screen, and, and, and that's it. So like... What was that? They took what could have been a funny joke and they did nothing with it. It doesn't even make any sense. Like, why would you ask Siri to make the video full screen? No one does that. Deary, can we skip this ad, please? That doesn't work. Not only is there no joke, but the setup doesn't make sense. Isn't this movie a comedy? Siri, skip the ad. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, skip the ad. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, make the video full screen. Hmm, I don't see anything connected. But if you set something up, together we could- Siri, make the video full screen on you- Hello? Okay, I'll see, okay. <laughs> This movie is made for no one. As I mentioned before, no one knows if this movie was a success or a failure. There's hardly anything about this movie online other than some bad reviews. So I'm just gonna assume it's a failure? But the question is, why? Well, cause this movie has zero appeal to anyone. First of all, let's look at the mainstream audiences. Although we would like to believe it, Smosh isn't a household name, like many people think it is. James Bond is a household name. Marvel is a household name. Smosh isn't. A majority of people don't even know what a Smosh is. Most people over the age of 21 aren't even aware that Smosh exists. So when they see a movie called Smosh the Movie, their initial reaction is, what? Followed by, whatever, let's go see Spectre. And then they never think about it again. So this film's target demographic is younger people. People who are on YouTube all the time and understand what a Smosh is. Ages five to 21, preferably. But anyone over the age of 18 is a little bit too old for Smosh's brand of humor, which is fine. Smosh appeals to younger people, and there is nothing wrong with that. The problem is when you make a movie, 
there is a little thing you gotta get past called the MPAA, which will rate your film a PG-13 if it's too obscene for younger children. Sure enough, this film is rated PG-13. And there you go, you cut out an entire demographic right there. Now you are left with 13 to 18 year olds. The problem here is that teenagers have a very short attention span. Nothing wrong with that, of course. But when you ask them to watch something that's longer than 10 minutes, even if it's good, they will constantly get up and walk around, look at their phone, talk on their phone, play their games on their phone, on their phone, check their Twitter check on, their phone. on their phone. When these teens watch a five minute video, they can pretty much stand still for the entire thing. But asking them to do the same for 90 minutes is a whole different story. So when you have a movie like this that is way too long, has very few jokes, and has nothing going on story-wise, it will not hold a teenager's attention. So it's too inappropriate for kids, too long for teenagers, too immature for adults, and too out of touch for older people. It's a movie that appeals to no one, and it's made with the same care and love as a straight-to-television Disney Channel movie, meaning no care and love was put into it. But it's supposed to appeal to teenagers, so like, no. This doesn't work at all. Unless you are a hardcore Smosh fan, this movie will frustrate and bore you. I don't hate these two gentlemen. They do what they love doing, and they make money entertaining kids. More power to them. Just don't make a movie. And if you are going to make a movie, have something of value to say. Make me laugh once. At least try. Okay? Thank you.